Yeah, hello, uh, good afternoon. This is Sheldon Brown, publisher of Ventura's, Ventura Breeze newspaper. And I'm here with today's issue, which is February the 22nd. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what's in this issue and just pique your curiosity so you'll be sure to read the Ventura Breeze. I've kind of dissected the paper so I don't have to fumble through it like I usually do, but tell you some of the features in this issue. On the cover, we have a one-on-one -on -one interview with Mayor uh, Mike Tracy, Ventura's newest mayor, talking about the fiscal problems that Ventura is having, as is every other city in the world, it would seem. Some of his solutions and concerns, so read that and know what's going on with our monetary problems. And uh, this Saturday, February 25th, uh, at Ventura High School, the Ventura Education Partnerships annual festival of talent which is this great show with local high school talent uh, wonderful talent and it's uh, directed by Brian McDonald from the Rubicon Theater so you know it's going to be a wonderful evening and this year Air Realistic Circus and Flying School is going to have an aerial performance there and they've performed with Circus du Soleil and uh, they have a new teaching school in Ventura and it starts at five o'clock with dinner by Milano's Italian restaurant. So it's really a wonderful thing to see, to see Ventura's wonderful music talent. And coming up, it'll be next month, uh, the March 17th, parentclick.com, which is a, a website devoted to news, information events uh, for kids and young families, are gonna have an expo at the Pacific View Mall on March 17th from 9.30 to 1.30. And uh, the Ventura Breeze will have a booth there. We're gonna have free face painting and a kids drawing competition and come by and say hello and you can meet me, which is hardly worth the trip. But there'll be a lot of other things there. So stop by the mall and you get to know about uh, Parent Click. And uh, we have a second in the two-part article about the city reaching an agreement with the Pierpont residents over the sand removal. You're probably familiar with that, but over the last few years, the sand has built up so high in front of some houses in the Pierpont area that it's almost two stories high. So people are living at the beach and all they can look at is the side of sand piles. And there was a lawsuit and the city is required to clean those up. And they're supposed to start by March the 1st. So that should be happening very soon. And also this Saturday at 10 a.m., so I don't know if you can both go to both, uh, but actually the thing at the uh, mall is next month. Wrong month. Anyway, this Saturday, February 25th, uh, and one Saturday a month, Jeff Lambert, who's the Director of Community Development for the City of Ventura, takes a tour above the City Hall at Grant Park, and that's gonna be the location of our proposed Ventura Botanical Gardens, which will be very exciting as it develops and some members of the Ventura Botanical Gardens will also be along to tell you where the uh, Botanical Gardens will be and what they'll be all about. So it's a long-term project, but maybe in 10, 15 years, it'll be a destination for people throughout, you know, California. And that'll be on Saturday at 10 o'clock. And we have a really fun article about Buddy the Surfing Dog. Uh, he's a championship surfing dog. So we have an article about him. This particular day, the water was too cold for Buddy, so he didn't go in. And Scamp was also there, but Scamp hates the water, so he was glad that he didn't have to go surfing with Buddy. But that's kind of a fun thing, uh, if you like surfing and dogs. And we have an article by Jeff Lambert that I just mentioned as the director. And uh, our question is, who is responsible for picking up trash and debris to keep our city looking clean and safe? He answers that question and, and gives some phone numbers of the numbers you can call when you see unsightly things like shopping carts, which has become a huge problem in Ventura because of the homeless situation. And the always popular face of Ventura by Johanna Spinks. Uh, this edition is Cheryl Heitman, who is the director of the Ventura Music Festival. I don't know if director is her official title, but she runs the uh, music festival that's coming up 
and she's a new member of the city council and Ventura's new deputy mayor. So you read a little bit about Cheryl and, and look at her portrait and this wonderful series that Johanna is doing for the Ventura Breeze and for Ventura. Um, the senior section, Nancy Cohn has a really good article about inexpensive or free tax preparation for seniors. So that's always good to know. And council member Christy Wurz, father-in-law was just 100. So we have an article about him. And that's always nice that people are living that long if they're in good health mentally and spiritually and he's doing great. And the Professor Stamp, of course, is always featured, our probably most popular writer. And he's writing about a lot about his new experience with his new roommate, Savannah the cat, and uh, their exploits. They're getting along pretty well. And moving on, uh, we always have a page devoted to movie reviews, theater reviews, uh, an article about local musical talent and the musical calendar. So know what's going on in the music scene pick up this issue and if you don't like to read the news you can always just pick up the breeze to read cartoons and do the crossword we have a crossword in Sudoku and horoscope each issue and we're almost there uh, we always have a page devoted to Ventura's wonderful art scene we just have some incredible talent in Ventura it's really amazing so we feature Ventura artistic talent and on the back page, uh, when you go on vacation, bring a breeze with you and send a photo of it on your vacation and we'll put it in the breeze. His family was uh, celebrating what would have been their parents' birthdays, uh, which is nice. They carry that tradition on even though the parents are deceased. And this is some Cozenal. So on vacation, send us your photo. And that's kind of a brief overview of uh, this week's Ventura Breeze. You can pick it up in over 600 locations, including the KDTV studios here in Channel Islands. So be sure to pick up your latest issue of the Ventura Breeze. And thanks for watching KDTV.com.